we go. Hey guys, hello, hello. All right, it's gonna be a little noisy here. I'm sitting outside, you'll see I'm at the coffee shop, so I'm outside here. And what I wanted to, it's really noisy, so noisy, but I wanted to jump on because I haven't been on in a couple days and I wanted to talk about um, no time, the whole issue, sorry, I'm holding my selfie stick. The whole issue of not having enough time, right? Now, what is really up with that? I know, I know, I know, I know. I have said it, I still say it, I find myself saying it. The thing is, is that a lot of people say it over and over again, but I want you to think about this whole issue of not time, not enough time. It is what you are committed to. We always have time to what we're committed to. I might have to put my earphones on. Guys, I'm gonna balance this selfie stick. Seriously, it's so hard. Okay. So you always do have time to what, for what you're committed to. And I know we, the problem is, right? You may commit yourself to too much. <laughs> and that is the problem, especially with women. We're already committed to family, spouse. Um, if you have kids at home, aging parents. Where's my bottom? There we go. So if you're committed, right? So you've got to realize, okay, you committed to all of those things. So that means you decided and chose to do all of those things and to commit to all of those things. Now, it feels like there's no choice, which in some cases there are not. So there's some times in your life when you must be and do those things, right? But the thing is, is that if you keep committing and you keep doing more and more and more and more and more for others, feeling complete responsibility for their life, then what you got to know, you have to know that what you're doing is you're continually putting yourself back and last and as not as important. Now, when we are raising our children, it is only natural and right for us, of course, to put them first, to put ourselves last for a while, because that is kind of what we need to do, because they need you. That is what it's about. But then when you, after you do it for years and years and years, the issue is you're so used to doing it, it society sees it as this is what we should do. This is the right thing to do. It is the unselfish thing to do. It is the kind thing to do for women to take care of others. Now, also, you've got to remember that way back 50 years ago, even 100 years ago, women did not work full time, right? A lot of the aging people either lived in the home with the other people or they, their parents died at a younger age. So they didn't have, and their kids, as soon as their kids were old enough to get out of the house, they were out of the house. And so then they had that space, right? And they never worked. And then they had space still to take care of themselves. But anyways, I just want you to know that it's, a, it's your priorities. What needs, so if you want to change something in your life, let's say, I, I don't have time to make healthy food. I don't have time to, to do this. I, I can't lose weight, but I just don't have time to do this or do that. So if your priority, in the, if your priority is, oh my God, I, I need to get healthier. I need to lose the weight then that becomes your priority. So then you need to look at what you've got in your life and change things. So what are you committed to? Now you can say, I'm committed to losing this weight, <laughs> but if you don't take action, you're not committed to it. You are totally committed to the things you spend your time doing. So what do you spend your time doing now? That shows you what you're totally committed to. Missing you at the buzz. <laughs> I'm at Boca, woo -hoo, sitting outside. <laughs> loving the sun right now but um, so what you are doing what you are spending your time is what you're committed to that's what you're committed to plain and simple that's where your commitment lies that's what you see and have prioritized to be the most important things in your life so when you go to say I desire to or I want to lose weight or I want to start eating healthy or I want to start going to the gym do you have any space for that if you don't you can't cram it in and you have to look at what you're committed to and you have to make some changes because you have a list, you have a priority list, whether you've written it down or it's in your head. You need to write it down and look at it and go, obviously my priority right now is um, spending time with this person or that person or doing things for everybody else but putting myself last. That's the reality, that's what you're doing. So now think, if you want time for yourself, time for the gym, how can you change that? What do you need to say no to what do you need to let go of? What do you need to delegate to someone else? You need to stand for yourself. You need to stand up for yourself. Do you need to start claiming your time and claiming your power? Because it's your life. 
it's your health. Nothing's, no one's going to come one day to you and go, oh, guess what? I'm giving you two extra hours in the day. You're going to get 26 hours in the day while everybody else has 24. Therefore, so you can finally have time for yourself, right? That's just not going to happen. That's just not going to happen. So you need to wake up. You need to see what you're prioritizing. You need to see what you truly are committed to because those are the things you're always finding time to do. And before you go, but I have to, I get it as my, I have to take care of this person. I have to blah, 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 right? Then that is a priority. Now, what else though are you doing that has taken up a lot of time that if you choose to become healthier, to lose weight, to get to the gym, whatever that may be, you need, right, to open up space for that. You need to open up space for that. It's like cleaning out your closet. You need to get rid of the junk and the crap in your life. So you have room for what you now see as important to you and you now choose to make as a priority. All right, there we go. I hope that helps you guys. <laughs> and if you're a woman over 40, um, come and join my Facebook community, Women Creating Healthy Lives, because I do specific trainings in there for women over 40, the life changes that you're going through in your body and the way you need to change your eating and everything. I also have lots of videos on YouTube at Diana Marchand, doc. I'm Diana Marchand on YouTube and my website's dianamarchand.com. All right, enjoy your day. Bye-bye.